Am I on? Lit. All right. We're here in top eight of ape one. Ape, ape, ape. Uh, first match on stream. Daddy Chill and Mustang. Apparently, Daddy Chill saucing Mustang right now. What's but going down with this? Now the opposite is happening. Cause Mustang has a pretty good lead. And Are I'm we gonna, loud and clear? Yeah. I'm going right. here with Danza. <laughs> what it's popping out. How y'all doing? Man. Dude, chilling, bro. It's been a been a nice bracket. I like this round robin format. It's really nice for all these O tours, two tours, be able to play as much as they want. I respect it. Yeah, I've already played. I think seven sets now, so it's like definitely yeah. bang for your buck. But the most important part is that everyone's just having fun. Yeah, man. We're playing, we're learning. Yeah. And then after that, you know, we have the side game, split cup. Oh yes, pong. sir. We got melee and and fucking Street Fighter all there. It's a good time, bro. Yeah. It's a real good time out here. And uh, Mustang, you know, I don't know if Mustang has been dealing with this like many other players have, but the stamina to play so many sets back to back oh, to yeah. back in round hard. robin is tough. It's tough. And now up here against Daddy Chill, like he still got it going. Yeah, and then it's one of those matches where Pikachu definitely wins. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, obviously, Paulo can win. It's on on one of those. Probably just minus one. Okay. But like, you have to be playing on point, and then Daddy Chill's like really, really solid. Yeah. He has really good like reactions. So like a lot of the times he sends you to like a tumble situation, uh -huh. he's like reaction, either dash attacking you or like grabbing you, and you're like, oh damn, you got those. Yeah. And then you're just even more scary because everything else about his gameplay is like really solid. And Pikachu's already scary, but when you see someone that has those reactions like that, yeah. it just you know that it's it's gonna be a tough matchup. Yeah, and you just know Mustang, he just wants to take the game, go to game three. Yeah, he might be a little desperate, might swing here, but. Uh, if he misses, Daddy Chill definitely will get those punishes. Yeah, if I was Mustang, I'd just be spamming all the kills. Oh, moves. oh yeah. With rage, Swing. a lot of them are just killing. Yeah, there yeah. you go, right there. Oh, okay, all right. Bro. Ow. Why? Ow. Just letting him get back. Yeah, but, you know, it's fine. Like, you have a stock league, yep. to be fair. Like, it's not the end of the world. Yep. Could get this back waiting. though too. He's not looking for it though, but the dash right. attack will close it out. Anything's possible. Don't Can let it this be happen, you. bro. Don't let it Do be not you. let it be you. Don't get back here and die. Thankfully, Paulo isn't like super easy to gimp. She can get gimp. Like it's definitely possible. Ooh. Wow, the thunder jolt. Say, oh. Dude, that tripped. Oh. All right. All now right. We're getting to the point yeah. where back throw starts killing. Yep. So it's really just okay. You gotta play safe. You just gotta wait. Just Play yeah. really patient. Use that broken back air. Exactly. Because like, if he was facing back, because he actually turned around. Yep. You're ready. You just back air reaction the second he jumps. And if yep. it whiffs, it's like, okay, well, he probably baited it and it's whatever. Bro, and now this is tough because Mustang is trying desperately to get back to stage. And Daddy Chill is actually He's keeping up with it, we're bro. Getting, yes. We're getting to the point where Thunder might go. Oh. oh, no. Don't let it be you. Do not let it be you, Mustang, because you had this hot lead. That's and this right. is going to be a 2-0 if you lose like this. Oh. oh no! Okay, that shack is a little stale oh, though. Down there. Yeah. Okay. Dude, wow. every teleport and that he's that going back on stage. Oh, oh my god! Nice. The last hit of up air just barely finishing it. Mustang is so shook right now. <laughs> I would be too, bro. Honestly, like that was a close potential for a comeback from Daddy Chill, bro. Yeah, that was Daddy Chill, and that was the thing. It was exactly the same, like. Mustang would do like an air dodge or get put into these situations where you're either you're accidentally air dodge trying to tech or you're teching Pan or you're not teleport. teching and he just dash attacks it. Yeah. He's ready. Or yeah. he's dash grabbing it or down tilting it. And Pikachu can get there. So yeah. any sort of panic options that you're throwing out like that, it doesn't matter if you dodge the first option. Pikachu's ready to cover the next one yeah. when you're coming from that and lag. And then the worst part is too, like if dash attack wasn't stale, and he dash attacks you just strong dash attack and you were holding in, yep. you actually die at 100 with max rage. Pikachu. Out of there, yep. So uh, Smashville now, this is scary as Pikachu, I think. Like, yeah. you can get blown up by Palu here, but if you got those back air loops and all the loops right on that platform on Smashville, you can do some dirty things. Yeah, and you could also like, mix up your recovery so well and, and even advantage. Absolutely. You could just, you know what, like here you could be like, all right, quick I attack go to the platform, yeah. I'm resetting neutral. Absolutely. Or the inverse, he throws in there, he's like, all right, quick attack, I'm here now, what are you going to do? You're yeah. scared because we're at the ledge. Um, but it goes both ways because Paulo definitely has similar. She probably wouldn't be teleporting there. Right. But she'll use the platform in similar ways. If Mustang has it like that, he will do the teleport cancel That's on that true. moving platform. And, yeah, but I that shit is risky. Oh, oh okay. I'm All right. Under, You're just gone. I don't remember what. I didn't You're just. See that it doesn't matter, bro. You're just blown yeah. up. But you know, now nice. we got a lead. But still, 85. I mean, charge up smash is probably killing Pikachu. Mm -hmm. F smash is killing. Like you're at the point where down throw fair at the ledge right and the here, hits yep. is probably killing. 
So Mustang just has to be like really like understand this is not panic time yet. Right. Use those safe aerials and just wait. Just slowly yeah. wall them out. You get up to 120, 130. Mm -hmm. You do a bad roll. Okay, I'm grabbing you back though. Absolutely. You just wait, because like there, if he wants to be on the platform, which obviously Pikachu's gonna do, yeah. especially with the lead, you get the right sharking up air, he's dead now too. So yeah. it's just patience, like it's not too, too bad. You're doing fine. Yeah. Okay, there you okay. go. Waited out the spot dodge, got the nice back air. And now only 55, that's fine. With the right hit, you do get at least 30. Well, well I guess Pikachu has some bias, because I've never <laughs> seen that shit. <laughs> Who the hell falls out of that move? No. Pikachu does. Pikachu. Only Pikachu's Pikachu. got all the privilege in the world. Putting it on display right now. All right. And now let's see. Yeah. Mustang, I think he's swinging a little bit too much. Yeah. At least with these, like, really slow moves. I would like to see a lot more, like, short hop fares or, like, right. auto cancel fares. Keep them spaced too, yeah. right? Just space that and just wait. And then you poke, you get to do fair yeah. dash attack from, That's like, nice. 0 to 30. That and was now, a nice reaction. Turn around, grab on the ledge. Yeah, Mustang's starting to cook. I would like to see up smash with the ledge. Like, I know it yeah. hits Pichu for free. Yeah. Pikachu isn't as free, but it has to hit. Like, there's no way it doesn't hit. And he's been, Mustang has been doing it a little bit here and yeah. there. So, see, there you go. Looking for it right now, because that is what you want to see. On the ledge. There's Daddy Cho just trying to fade the option out yep. of the Yep, the panic situation. teleport, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Attack, not it yet. Oh, I like that attempt. Who can land the confirmed nah, that's first? That's not it, yeah. Oh, the, oh. the balloon actually got bopped by the thunder. And so did that. actually kind of helped Mustang. Right? Yeah, to get out of it. In theory, he could have just like shark double jump up air once he saw like, oh wait, he did more lag. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some leaps going. All right. Oh, 50? Yes, sir. Oh, he messed up his double jump. Yeah. But still, 40 on Pikachu and you're on 145. Real quick. Yep, on the ledge. And now this is where you just play safe. You're just like, all right, slowly but surely, I'm going to keep edging you out. I'm going to get like... 10, 12 percent every time I back air. Nice. Can't be dash. Can't be get up attack in there. Yeah. I understand the want to do that, but you just can't do it. Of course. Do it versus character. The most ridiculous disjointed move yeah. in the game for and a it tiny lasts rat. Forever. Yeah. It get two frames. Okay. By the way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Hold on. Daddy Chill starting to bring out the bridges. Okay. Yeah. Again, reaction on the, the same. They're both doing the same sort of thing where they'll recover high or try to go past each other yeah. with their recoveries, but both of them are ready for it. Yeah, they're trying to essentially be like, I'm not going to get edge, like ledge trap. Yeah, skip but the ledge they, trap. But then right? they're getting punished anyway. Exactly. Back nice air. down throw back yeah. here. He's got it. Mustang. He's got those. Mustang. Closing it out. Popping off. <laughs> like always. He's Look going crazy. He's actually, he's literally yelling at Daddy Cho right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's called ape for a reason. <laughs> Mustang is going ape right. shit right now. I gotta go play Bobbles. He's gonna kill me at like 12. All right. Drago's hopping on stream. All right. We'll see you. What's good? Uh, this set's gonna be interesting because Bobbles has been on a, f a tear today. The heavy master himself, doesn't matter which one he pulls out, could be Bowser, could be, I saw him playing Incineroar earlier. He could be, could be playing K Rule. Ganondorf, I've seen it all, but I think I would imagine in this matchup, Bobbles is going to use the Bowser. Uh, and for Drago, there's a couple of options. I don't know. But uh, both of these guys doing a really good bracket run today. And now that we're in top eight, it's uh, it's do or die time. It's time for some some top tier matches. Okay. All right. Could not say I was seeing this coming, but we got, uh, I believe, yep, Bobbles on the K rule, Drago on the dwarf. Uh, not sure where this dwarf came from, but let's see if Drago got it like that. I guess against K rule, it's a, uh, should be a nice time, both low tiers, you know? Oh, is uh, all right. Let's get it, Mustang. Nice. It's not going to be it yet. But that will. Okay, so 
that is the good part about this matchup because K. Rule has got that super exploitable recovery if you can get at him from the side and yes. a nair like that, or even a fair if he's really feeling ballsy. Or even ballsy. Up you, right? If you yeah, can get exactly. deep enough, you can get the reverse up. I don't know if Drago's aware of that though. It's definitely something you have to kind of know in the matchup. Right, right. Uh, so I need to ask you a question, Mustang. Is this Ganondorf a thing, or is Drago just know something that we? He plays don't? Ganondorf in doubles. Okay. Um. So it's not completely new. It's not like. And of course, the character is pretty funny based, right? You can do a oh, lot yeah. if you know how to get a good banshee. Right. But speaking of edge guards on one side, K. Rool has that nair. The crown yeah, messes it, up Ganondorf's This back row is so oppressive. This oh, angle. Yeah. Absolutely. But Bob was choosing. Okay. Nice. Rock Rock here gets yeah, it. Yep. Even with the buffs, you're still going to be vulnerable. Yeah. Easy. Sakurai messed up so hard, man. It actually makes me sad. It will never have a good time trying to recover like that, or even trying to reversal someone like that on the lint. Good tech from Bobble's actually going to get out yep. of that flame truck read. Now we have an edge situation, but the angle not deep yeah. enough, right? Landing right mm -hmm. on top of the up B. Yep. I think and with that instance, too, Bobble's went very low, knowing that he was going to try to hit him from the side. Yeah. So uh, those those recovery mix-ups are going to be crucial. As he now yeah. he tries to go high, and boom. Yeah, yeah. it's just when you're at K roll against the ledge against Ganon, that nair covers so much space. Absolutely. It's pretty hard, yeah. but it gets the down to here. But see, he's choosing to go for the blunderbuss instead of edge guarding. I yeah. think he should have really work his advantage harder. You can Absolutely. really sneak between those angles. Yeah. Like oh that! My. Working the edge guard harder, getting the insane It just takes read. one jump call out, and that's it. Your stock's gone. Uh, that that back... Okay, no jump, speaking of that, but uh, no, not really much Ganon can do. No. But that air, man! Like, what does wow. K. Rool do to get off ledge? But, gonna actually let him run for free. Okay, conversion here, gonna yeah. get down through narrow. Yeah, that's what you do right there. If he's trying to do Nair, you get up with the crown. At least you can get the armor if the get crown doesn't there. hit him first. No jump here, but Drago choosing the ledge trap. Probably the smart position. Yep. He has look at that. Lead. Look at that up B hitting below the ledge like that. It's so obnoxious to I do know. <laughs> Oh, man. Almost had that up He now. almost had that. But right patience idea. for Bobbles. And he can yep. you know, one, one Ganon edge guard, and he's completely like... Okay. No doubt. Okay. No he's tech. All right. He didn't go for the F tilt, though. I think the F tilt would have been a better option. Absolutely. And if you're missing those techs, you... Be ready to die. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. I like the air choke attempt, but the roll from Bobbles nice. was really well timed. <gasps> that's it. Yeah, He's dead. that's it. That he would have been dead too. That Shit. down air lasts so long. Like it's it's it, it, like if you go low as Ganon in this matchup, you're pretty much dead. Done. Like, you're asking yourself to lose that stock. I but, think uh, you, you should make going high your main option most of the time. Yeah, I, I don't know if K. Rule has too many punishes when you're going up high on the ledge, but. Fair is really the only yeah. thing I would imagine is a threat at it's, that point. It's just unfortunate, right? Because you go low, you get uh, dared or nared. If you go high, you possibly risk up being him into that stage type punish. Right. That we saw the first talk. So, to be honest, your best situation is Gan is to just kind of not be off stage at the end of the day, and then yeah, hope, hope the opponent tough. doesn't execute. Right. And it's really tough, especially with it, because you feel like, okay, haha, funny crocodile, I can beat him as Ganondorf. But K. Rool's got the projectiles to keep you off the stage. Yes. There's no stage control here whenever Bobbles has the crown out and the blunder bats out. Like, it's it's hard to get through it already. And then what's your other option? Be on the ledge? Be off stage as Ganon? Sorry. The really but. strange thing here, though, is that... um. Oh, oh! Yeah, I think that was a get-up attack punish. It's one call-out. Yeah. Drago's really making the most of his ledge opportunities. Absolutely. Um, it's why he's um, at least ahead right now. But um, Bobbles has shown he can fight back pretty easily here. Wants to double. That's actually a decent option if you catch the opponent mashing out of the first. Wow. Yeah. Double not, wizard kick, huh? Yeah, it's not it's not terrible. Oh, here's a down throw. Yeah. Nice. Nice at the, the upper. Mash. Yeah. Just to get the kill. Oh! oh. <laughs> Almost back happened. There? Yeah. I, I think really the quick reaction option is that up air. So Bobbles had the right idea, but the crown was just a little bit off sending him yeah, right 163. Front. I mean, most things for Kayla will kill right now. Oh, yeah. Just get another down throw. Get but it back. That's the thing. You, you only have cra armor on that uh, crown shot. Ganon's move just pierced right through the armor I half see. the time. I see. So it's just like you got to. Especially with the kick, right? Yeah, the forward air. Oh, and the forward. Oh, no. Yeah. The, the, you cannot uh, wizard foot through crown. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it, that is consistent. Well, that is important to know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nope. good. yeah, Blunderbuss is going to absorb any uh, aggressive attempt at ledge there. Yeah, we all know what he was going for there. Get up from the ledge. Mm, nice jab out nah. of uh, disadvantage from Drago here. He's been making, yeah. Okay, this time Bobble's landing aggressively. Almost gets the uh, narrow conversion on the uh, on the roll, but uh, doesn't get it. But still, he's playing advantage pretty well. This nice. stock. Comes there it is. Again. Again. No, no, like, like I said, Drago doesn't want to go low. You, you know you're exactly. dead. Exactly. It's exactly what we talked about. It's either you choose to go low and force this lower option of edge guard, but if you try to go high and force your way, panic back up, he's ready with the back air, and you're just gone all the way down. It's really rough, man. But uh, let's see. I mean, Ganon has a variety of options to kill, there obviously. There it is. Yep. Even, you know, 160. If you live 160 against Ganon, pretty good stuff, I know, right? Man. You'll yeah, normally exactly. take that. 
Okay, F tilts his way in. That is a, okay. Now he's nice. gonna check going. The counter though. Excellent option. He has to use that all set. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, it's just a lot of swinging right now, man. No, I mean, tech. they're just trying this shit. Okay, that, that, see, that uh, side be a little too far range, right? It's so reactable if you do it from that far. Absolutely. And I think Bobbles is keeping his distance enough, knowing that that is a legit option. But K-Roll's always going to want to stay a little bit away because he has the crown. I like Drago blast. aggressively covering that crown in. Yeah. The grab. And now this ledge trap is so crucial for Oh, him. don't get it. Almost had it. Thank you. It's a nice roll away. But okay. still, the ledge is just so yeah. hard for yep. um, One edge Bobbles guard. right now. Yeah, there it is. Get up from ledge crown. That's going to keep him away from him. And the dash attack almost killing. Oh, don't fall into no, that. No Are jump, we? though. He's still very vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. That's it. What do you do, man? What do you do? Yeah, I mean. The, that little cannonball, especially as Ganon, your only option with no jump, your only option is to air dodge through it or maybe get hit by it. But you're too high percent. You're just going to die anyway. So yeah. Bobbles covered both options, and he was nice with that 2-0, man. That K-roll so is looking good. Was that quarters? That was during winners finals. I see. Even uh, Grants. We're keeping this thing moving. Well, uh, in that instance, it looks like the Ganondorf didn't quite work out, but he was putting up a good fight. He showed some good stuff, but yeah. like, uh, Bobbles had the edge guards, man. Yeah. He had the edge guards. He had the patience. He had the back airs. Like, yeah. The back airs were fucking good. Oh, my God, man. That, The coverage on the jumps, just knowing he's going to do that, it's yeah. so oppressive like that. And, and really props to Bobbles in general. Like, this is not a character that he plays super often in bracket. Yeah. It's when he's... I play as I play him right now. All right, I play All right. right now, so... Let's go, Mustang. Let's go. Back on stream. He's on stream whether he's playing or commentating. This man does it all. He does not want to get away from the camera or the mic. He's running the show here. And now, again, the man right here. It's another instance of this. He's just on stream. Now he's behind the mic. We got Bobbles right here. Look, he gets to see himself... With the first place, K. Rule showing that belly, bro, and now he gets to be bro, right the, here on the Bro, mic. the big golden gut, dude. You can't deny the power of the dad bod. Uh, dude, that dad bod, especially in the, the last instance, you won with the dad bod, the yeah, belly the nair, itself. The nair, yeah, yeah, that was nice. It was, a, it was a really good set, man. It's fun. That, that was, was nice. Fun. I, I did not know that Drago had the Ganondorf. He does. Uh, he, does he goes Ganon a lot. I, I see why he would want to do Ganon in that matchup. I think he's just having a, he's here having a good time. But too. he's having a good time, he's yeah. Let's try something out. Heavy versus heavy is always fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, K. Rule's tough in that in that matchup, man. Yeah, it's... You got projectiles, you got armor. Hey, fuck Mustang. Look at him. Man chose his main against me, and then switched after and was like, I don't even need my main. Like, of course you need that main for that game one, bitch! Game one, bitch! That's right! Mustang's not here to have fun. Mustang's here to play. Mustang, Mustang, like, Mustang. I appreciate. I appreciate. Like, look, we've all gotten our main at some point. Today. Yeah. You know, I appreciate. Of course. It. Sometimes you got to be sweaty, bro. I, Dude, I know. I know it. it. You man. know it. You got to be sweaty yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And in this bracket, we're not seeing too many of the top players here in Austin, but that gives so many more opportunities for these lower players. And I'm not saying Mustang's a lower player, but he gets to. He doesn't get many of these opportunities to make this run. Oh no, I. He got, wants I, to flex the power. He's got to use that main. You, know, you got to. You know, this is a. You know, this is a good. It's a good mix of like. I think a lot of the people who like come to these come are part of the Austin scene to like have a good time, be yeah. part of this like bit, you know this this you know big family, and you get welcomed in. Trust me, I've, I've only been here a year or so, year and some change. Oh but, yeah, you know you know you get integrated pretty quickly. Oh yeah, man. So so truly got, is like a family out here. Oh yeah. absolutely, some good homies here. Yeah. Uh, I this will be a good set too. Rick and Rick and Mustang both very good. Dude, and players. again another person, uh, Rick. Uh, he's been, at least from to my knowledge, he's been a little absent lately. Hasn't mm -hmm. been showing up to too many events, but he wanted to have some fun today. And uh, well, for Mustang, he yeah. might not have too much fun. I though. think he's here to run the run the, the pong tables after this. Oh but yeah, oh yeah. Starting off here on uh, FD game game number one, all sets here in this top eight, best of three. Uh, this is how it is today. So you know, you got to win. You got to win quick. Yeah. And uh, I think with this matchup, a uh, stage like FD is truly neutral for these because it's either you got hella stage coverage as Snake mm -hmm. and there's not too many places to land as Palu. But with Palu, if you get in, you're blowing him up. Oh, absolutely, yeah. S Snake's disadvantage against Palu, pretty pretty, pretty bad, you know. Snake's big weaknesses, I think, are really exploited by somebody like Palu. You have those yep. those hard uh, you know, hard landings, hard disadvantage yep. offstage especially, you know. Exactly. But 
And if you can't land on a platform comfortably here, Palu will shark you from under and will take full advantage of that. So uh, yeah. Rick's got to be careful with these landings, and especially in juggle situations. For sure. He's got the he's got a bit of a lead right now. Yeah, nice. forces the forces the lead drop, punishes the re grab with the yeah. down smash, and gets the early lead. In there. Okay, there you go. Invisible yeah, backer. There put, you go. Put this man out on ledge. Okay, good idea. That's the right idea. He just has to hold on to it a little bit longer, knowing that Rick would more likely than not air dodge to ledge. Just hold that up smash, but use that up smash. Could have done it again. Absolutely, yeah. Big, you know, massive hitbox, long lasting, perfect for for you know scrutinizing any oh, sort of. Was that? I was just the timer. It ran that out. was just the timer. Yeah, the bro. natural timer. The C four just. It went be out your on own. It. It, it really is. It's it's. You know, the people who thought had your back <laughs> definitely don't, but Grenades here, he's got a bit of a percent lead to work out with, so, not, you know, nothing too far-fetched for uh, old Icewater Rick here. Oh, yeah. Oh, set up here. Beautiful. Oh, okay, see, that was a really good setup, but he did not capitalize off of that grenade pop. He could have gone up air. I don't know if it would have killed, but for really sure. good follow-up potential. I think it was sending up a little higher than he was expecting, so just also probably wanted to see how what Mustang was going to react to, yeah. you know, get, yeah. some, get some valuable information. But right. Up till still enough to do the job. The, oh, yeah. the biggest, strongest quads in all of uh, Smash <laughs> Ultimate is. I need to know that workout regimen. Solid dog. snake, bro. <laughs> oh, Back. don't do it. Yeah, go. I mean, you got to You got to try at least. You got to right? try, but at least once, right? Okay, there we go. Yep. Uh, and this is where the up smash comes into play. Yeah. Oh, and Again, bobbing man. And bobbing and weaving too. Find yeah. play Back underneath it. And I don't know if that's a timing thing or if he was air dodging a little bit too far below to miss getting hit by that up smash. But uh, it's two times that he could have almost died from that same situation. He's got to be careful with air dodging a ledge like that. I know it's Snake's thing, but kalu has got the tools to punish it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he's been doing a good job kind of mixing up his, his oh, nice. you know, the height and the angle he's coming in at, which could throw Mustang yeah. off a bit. You know, maybe trying to force Mustang to pull the trigger, but kind of just applying some big pressure here, gets the down throw, he's going to... Oh, okay. man. Nice. Okay, that was an excellent punish on Mustang's part. Because he was in a really sticky situation where anyone, a lot of people would have panicked there and probably rolled towards the ledge, got hit by that mine. But, uh, no, nah, he was on top of it and punished that with the forward smash. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Rick, I think Rick covered, Rick covered neutral get up in the roll out, but uh, Mustang went the other way, was able to get those big holy right. wings and just barely, uh, you know, dodges through that big up smash that definitely would have killed with that extra charge on it. But. Yeah, no doubt. Oh man, there's just too many things falling from the sky right there. Yeah. Eventually, you're gonna get hit by one of those. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, uh, it's tough. a bit of a rough time on ledge against me. Yeah, uh, and and one thing to note that I think is pretty important right here, I've no I'm just a commentator right here, but even I noticed it in the last set. Granted, he was going up against a Pikachu. Mustang has this habit of panic teleporting towards the center stage. He knows that he just wants to skip that ledge trap scenario, so he teleports to the center stage. Right. He was getting called out by it just for Pikachu dash attack last set, but right here, Rick is ready for it as well. And even with all those things falling down in the same spot, one of those things is going to catch either you getting up from ledge or just teleporting your way right there. Absolutely. Mustang kind of gave it to him by teleporting in with the panic options, but you saw Rick jumping towards center stage to be ready to go even further. And back to FD, man. Yeah, I, I feel like this is probably the the most ideal state for, for both of them. You yeah. Know, you, you give... Uh, you give Snake too much room, you can kind of run away if he builds a lead. But you give uh, Palu platforms, and Snake's in trouble if he's Yeah, he can exactly. Okay, good job waiting out the jump. Even maneuvered his way through the grenade to continue that juggle going. And now he's just not stopping. Throw the grenade. Nice. Oh, there it is. There you go. Yeah, Mustang finally, you know, showing a little bit more aggression off stage. Yeah, which is what we like to getting see. down there. Yeah, and again, this is, you're just applying, applying the pressure. The more you keep Snake on his back foot, the harder it is for him to kind of Nice. Freely, freely play his game, you know. He can pull his grenades, he can throw down his C4, but, you know, you're going to catch his landing eventually. Right. Okay, there, there it is. is. You just waited out a little bit longer, and not only does that destroy Cypher, so you omit all of that, catches the air dodge, and finally Mustang holding it long enough to blow up. Yeah, right I mean, Cypher works against you in that situation, too. You know, when hitting the Cypher first extends that hitbox even more. Oh, so true, yeah. Already a huge hitbox. Absolutely. So you know, and, uh, uh, you, you, said, you said earlier, you know, it'd be your own sometimes. It, <laughs> it yeah. It definitely is. Good, good reaction there by Rick. You know, uh, waits it out, gets the dash attack, and here you go, teleport. There to the it is again. Yeah, worked out from that time though. Right. Kind of committed to like a neutral get up, and you gotta uh, tech those, man. You have to tech those. You gotta know it's coming. Yeah, a bit of a oh man, here nice we go. There, and yeah, just Mustang starting to run away with the second game. Kind of a big flip off of the first one, which is uh huh. Okay, uh, this isn't undoable. Oh, no, it's no. just gonna take a while. 
I'll yeah. tell you that right now. Snake definitely has the means to close the gap very quickly. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. You know, it's, it's all on Mustang to kind of play at a play a safe game and watch out for any any gimmicks, any big gotcha kind yeah. of setups that Snake. Okay. Can go for. I don't know if he could have gotten a forward air off of that grenade, but that would have probably done some damage there. But he did just opt for the nair, and he got some really good percent off of that. So for sure, he's uh he's trying to chip his way back in this, but uh. Oh man! Oh, and it kills too. Crazy. Bro. Yeah, I Are thought, you kidding I thought he was fine for a second there. Too. I know that that seemed a little low, but all right, Rick's we're, in this thing, yeah, man. We're, yeah, bat, we're back. We're we back can do to this. An, an even standpoint now. Just forty percent separating these two, but now Mustang again. For Mustang, it is one edge guard right here. This decides it right now. If you got those, yep, of course. You got to know that's his only option right there. So yeah, Mustang taking care of business, man. Good adjustment there by Mustang on the second game. Yeah. Can became way more aggressive off stage against. Yeah. Me, kind of. Maybe he had to remind himself after the first one, like, okay, I have there there are options that I, I know I'm aware of. I'm just yeah. executing. So he does it, forces game number three, and might have a might have a trip to winners finals in his back pocket. Dude, and if uh, if Mustang can do that, that'll be a great trip for him, man. He's uh he's been doing pretty well in this bracket. And uh, well, you're not gonna count Rick out just yet because game three situations, Snake. Rick is a very seasoned player. Oh yeah, he brought that. He, yeah, he was bringing that third game back too. So nice. going to Town and City, which is you know probably the closest thing to FD. Yeah. Uh, You're basically getting another flavor of the same stage. For sure. But uh, who knows? I mean, maybe these platforms can bring up some interesting situations for Mustang in terms of recovery. Mm -hmm. You now have the the platforms as an option for teleport cancel to get back to center stage. You know he likes to teleport towards center stage often, so he might utilize those platforms for that. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll see here too. Uh, obviously, you know, Hazard's on set, so these, this, yeah. you know, the at, uh, not only will these platforms move in and out, but the center one will also move up and yeah. down. And uh, if you got those on the teleport cancels on a moving platform, you can have the stage, bro. Yeah, that's all you. You got it. That's all you. <laughs> Even, even so far, both kind of trading shots back and forth here. Offstage situation, we'll have to see uh, Mustang again. Oh, come on. Where yeah. was it down here? Yeah. <laughs> Wanted it, too. But yeah, good. Again, he's already showing that he's still going to commit to these aggressive uh, these yeah. aggressive edge guards here. He knows he knows what his win con is at this point. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, be patient, bro. Hold that thing. I know the grenade was going to pop, but he might have could have gotten if he held that up smash a little longer. Absolutely. Oh, and there you go. Yeah. Good, good anti-air. Knew, the, knew the, the jump nair was coming. Of course. Big old foot. Oh wow, Palu actually getting through that nair. Nice. F tilt on ledge is gonna take care of business. We are down to stock number two. Absolutely, and only only 60% too. That's I think that's uh, your biggest worry uh, going up against the snake if he takes the first stock is the yeah. amount of extra credit you might have to take in order to uh, kind of even things back up. But Mustang not taking any at all, but now stuck on the ledge against the snake here. Yeah. And again, with these moving platforms, you do have another recovery option with that as well. If they're going out to the side. You can get back and skip that ledge trapping by going away from center stage two. So we'll see if Mustang can actually pull that into play. Um, lots of neutral though right now. Ledge trap scenarios. Yeah, uh, both Look, players. There it is oh again. my goodness, yeah. Both players kind of avoiding. Uh, you know they don't really want to give each other free punishes uh, like that. Oh, and get the weak spot of the up air too. That's so unfortunate. Oh yeah, you're gonna hold shield. Yeah, you can oh, see. oh my goodness. you didn't know that was take there. Your, you take your eye off of it. I didn't know that was there. All right, well. frustration forward smash handles it at the ledge. We can even this up real quick. Yep, even even damage so far. And again, I think you Rick, oh, there Rick, it is. Rick's been kind of shield checking Mustang a lot this third game, but Mustang just this is big. This is big. An amazing 51% off of one side B. Oh man! Wow! But really, I really like the idea of that setup. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the iframe on the get up from Mustang, rewarding Rick's plans at some high damage. Yeah. Oh, he took the jump. Where's this down there, dog? Oh, not like this, man. He Got was it. trying to get the grenade to pop him up and For keep sure. that recovery going. Yeah, he wanted to wanted to keep that mix up going. He saw the you know the down smash being charged, kind of, kind of uh you know saw. Death in his eyes and had to, you know, had to commit to something. Went for the mix up and uh, just yeah. a little off the moment there. But well, hey man, if he hit that, if he got the grenade pop to mix up that recovery, oh, we'd been, been giving him props. It would have been sick. Would have been, been dope as hell. I would have been like, I would have been like, dang, Rick, you know, Rick, Rick's even sicker with it than I thought he was. Uh -huh. you know? uh, well, nonetheless, Mustang takes that and puts him in winners finals. Yeah, let's go Mustang. Top three. It's awesome. So. I'm not sure if we're going to see him back on stream right now or if they're going to give it a break and go over yeah, the losers. I don't know. We're, I think they're going to check out and see what we've got going on in the uh, intermediates and redemption oh, brackets. Let's see, go. Hopefully we get get those boys some, some quality stream time. Absolutely. But, uh, As we should. The, uh, the intermediate is the word for this event. 
a lot of intermediate players showed up to this, and well, it's absolutely. nice to show them some love. Yeah, I don't want to say it's an Arcadian because, you know, there's some PR contend players here still, but mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is, um, you know, with, with the promise that there, you know, this isn't your typical kind of payout tournament. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, there's no incentive. Just has fun. Yeah, you're just you have a good time, play, try some new things out. Uh, you see the beer pong setup. Yeah, get like, some, we're get having some, fun, man. Get some reps in, man. <laughs> like, uh, like it, round robin pools already qualifies, already gets you at least like six sets. Yeah, which is know, amazing. Of, of like a of like a quote unquote tournament atmosphere, which yeah. can help a lot. Um, and it's tough to pull that off as a TO, uh, but Joey the God making this happen just for man. a fun event and round robin pools for a 32 man capped bracket. I will always appreciate that, man. And they ran maybe an hour and a half to two hours for pools for 32 people doing round robin. Like, yeah. think about how many sets are being played just for a second. And we pulled it off under two hours. Absolutely, like. man. Uh, and, it, and again, it's cool seeing, uh, you know, uh, like I said, it, for a lot of these players who are like your typical either, you know, where they're, they're typically, you know, show up one, two redemption bracket. Yeah. Fill it, guppy bracket, however you want to call it, finish it out. For these guys, it's a lot of experience. And I think experience, yeah. um, in the lower levels means so much. Uh, understand, you know, being able to apply and understand things because I feel like once you hit that, even that, that like one two 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 range yeah. in tournaments, you have a vague, you have a pretty like a at the very least like basic understanding of how how a game's supposed to work and how you're supposed to progress. Both you can know what you did wrong. Yeah, ex absolutely. Right? I, like you should have the mental capacity to do something like yeah. that, right? So this is just, at that point, it's just application, right? Yeah. Knowing what you're, what you're doing wrong, understanding what you're getting punished for it, and learning from it. Right. And, you know, whether it's against new characters that you, you don't, you're not familiar with or yeah. just new players, like, this is the place to do it. And I love events like this that allow, you know, people who would normally only get to play one or two sets in, like, a standard weekly. Exactly. Get to play six, seven, eight, almost ten sets of, in, for just, you know, just showing up and having a good time. What more could you ask for, man? And, the you know, it's not necessarily to say that this is like the incentive for it, but this was a twenty dollar entry fee for mm -hmm. this bracket, right? So you're you paying your way in. You have thirty two man capped, it's okay, there's not really a big payout at the end of the bracket, but right. you know what you want whenever you're looking for a tournament like this. Joey made it happen and we all love and support him, so we'll be able to do the, the twenty dollar entry fee. But if I get to play eight sets in a tournament setting, I will gladly pay twenty dollars for that right. scenario to be set up for me. And we've got like we've got like non Smash setups and games yeah. going on. We're probably gonna you know bust out the old the old Jackbox, the old everything. You oh, know, and we're in a goddamn arcade, man. Yeah, There's absolutely. shit to do. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we're just. I'm gonna go find out where we're at in these All brackets. Right. Bobbles is on it. Let's see if we can figure out what we're doing next. But um. So what what are we dubbing this event? I know we just called it Ape. But what, What's, what's the official name here? Austin Party Everyone. We're having a, an ape in good time, man, because that's that's just that's what we dubbed it as. So I'd like to see more of these events happen. I think it's such a cool opportunity for players and really flex some of that stan stamina for, for playing in tournament matches. So hopefully more of these happen. Uh, Icewater Rick, man's back up on it. He's trying to see if he can redeem himself against Imperator. Your player one. Yeah. Uh, we could see a snake ditto here. I don't know if we're going to see a snake ditto. I hope it's not a snake ditto. I think Rick probably hopes it's not a snake ditto. This might be Belmont snake. This might be Belmont game and watch. This might be snake game and watch. What is it, Rick? Yeah. What do we got? Oh, let's go. Rick's in the zone. He's listening to J-Rock win. He knows what it's like out here. Yes, sir. All right, let's see if Rick can get this dub under his belt. Uh, Imperator is a uh, pretty seasoned Belmont player. He knows what he's doing with that character. He's got the snake in his pocket, too, so he probably is going to know what Rick wants to look for with snake, but all snakes are pretty different. Uh, but here we go, Belmont versus Snake. There's going to be a lot of things flying around. Small battlefield, gentlemen. Let's go. I think situations like that are probably going to be the most crucial for Imperator. You're trying to find, you know, Rick wants to, to weasel his way in and out. That's what Snake does. And if you can trap him with all these projectiles, uh, I think it's going to be pretty beneficial. 
because Belmont's, while albeit not the uh, the greatest archetype, you know, they're pretty good at what they do, but not the greatest with this archetype in the game. If they do find that advantage state with all these slew of projectiles and against a character like Snake, you're going to get a lot of percent. And right now it's just a game of stage control. Go on the ledge. See if you can get past me. If you can, it's your turn. And <laughs> as I live and breathe, they're just trading ledge trap scenarios. Oh, okay, looking for the mix. And that's the mix that he wanted. Get that read. Well done, Rick. Oh my god. The frustration forward smash always works. I'm telling you right now. People are more likely than not going to roll an alleged scenario when someone comes down from the angel platform. So Imperator knowing that. Evening up. Nice. Forcing center stage. Oh, let's get the hot setup right here. Good percent. He blew himself up. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Again, Imperator is using that down tilt one just to see if someone's going to hold shield or see what option they have in them. Uh uh. Don't get caught by that. Oh, come on. Y'all dancing. Y'all dancing. Let's do something. There it is. Grenade, pop. Oh, no, okay. Still got with the dash attack, though. Got the coverage on deck. Uh, but again, it's your turn on the ledge versus my turn on the ledge. This is the matchup, y'all. There's not too much to say. Oh, no. No, that Cypher's gone. Uh, yeah, really good snipes with that, man. The, the axe just destroying the Cypher real quick. And I think Rick needs some help. That up tilt's there to help him. Evened up, man. Uh, I was saying before that this game is just a game of ledge trap, stage control, things flying in the air, and yeah. right now they've just been trading ledge trap scenarios. And you know, Rick is one of the best at converting off projectiles I've ever seen, and that was a quick 80% off a nade to see. Why did that do so much damage? That's what this character does, man. It's absolutely absurd. It's insane. But I think both of these characters are in the situation where if they get caught by each other's trap, they're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, versus and Emperor other not being prepared for that uh, um, talk nade. Oh. One of the rolling covered every option anyways. He covered it. Okay, he bounced off of the grenade, and Rick saw that he bounced off and he punished with the up air. He calls himself a genius, bro. He calls himself a genius. I call it situational. I'm going to call that situational, but Rick still got it. He got the first game. He lives in the moment. And that was very much in the moment, man. I mean, who else? you can't really predict that, but being ready for it is important. See, that's the thing, though. Like, Rick hasn't played in a long time, and, like, Th those instincts never leave you. Oh, yeah. Like, they've been slowly returning to Rick, like, all set. Like, even me fighting him just now, I was like, God, man, bro, he's coming back to life. As and this I'm is, like, his him. 11th, 12th set. I don't know, 10th yeah. set of the day. Like, yeah, yeah you're going to get those back. Once the hands start getting warm again, yeah. Rick's going to be back in full icy form. Yeah, man, him at his best is scary, man. I mean, um, Truly. That was actually the first time I'd beaten him in, like, 10 sets, where he had washed me consistently. It's um, someone's birthday out here. Like, I'm, I'm afraid of this man. And Rick going tune link. No, no, no. What, what, what the heck? <laughs> What's going on? I mean, to be fair, I you, mean, it's gonna be hard for to justify this, but um. You got bombs. I guess you like the bomb characters because he plays game Belmont, and watch two. Um, Yo, that Belmont was Snake's hot, a bit annoying, right? Because like he's, yeah. he can, you get out camped, you get out disjointed. Yeah. Um, the matchups like I don't. It's doable for Snake, but it's just a weird one. Right. And right. I think that um, you know. Rick wants to have his projectiles in his own better close range um, game. And you know, the drift of Yeah, Look at that right. drift and how he's able to control the stage with his drift. And especially on FD, I think your landing is going to be a little bit easier with that drift as Toon Link. Um, but it's an interesting choice. I can't say I've ever seen the Ice Water Rick Toon Linkless. That's yeah. what he's got, though. Exactly. All right. Okay, again, the down tilt one mix up. I like that from the broader, but uh, not falling victim to it this time. Oh, yeah, man. There it is, the way down. There it is. Yep, jump out of shield, bro. I got you with that up air. That pressure Hot. is just like, and you know the projectile, the <laughs> and you know the projectile game is going to translate. Oh yeah. From sink to young wing for free, like. Absolutely, and I think he actually might have an easier time getting more consistent follow-ups off of projectiles with this yeah. character than Snake. Because he's got the move now. Like, look, look at him just yeah. moving around the stage, using that high yeah. drift just makes it very hard. Uh, but of course, as a Belmont, you can't player, drift past that. Though. He's gonna have that. 
Emperor you're staring me in the face. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Represent your crew, man. Uh oh. Represent your crew. Don't jump in, man. That axe is going to catch you every time. Okay, interesting interaction with Cross. I'm like, okay, we're going to whiff right in front of him, but Rick doesn't take All advantage, right. but actually still gets the punish, anyways. Yes. Jab one, grab, mix it. All that right. was literally a snake thing. Like, yeah. That's what snakes like yeah. to do. Like, that's a direct translation. But it doesn't work as well with Toon Link because like, the grab's so slow. Right. Hoping to at least get some distance. Okay, down but... air. Oh, nice DI from uh, a Rick avoiding any nice. cheeky follow up. But then, see how much knockback that up B does? Like, yeah. It's actually ridiculous. It's really good for catching those landings, especially here on Final Destination, man. Yeah. Okay, oh, up he's yeah. high. I don't think he meant to do that, but still gonna be living. Yeah, oh, not, see, bro, well, there's the drift right there, exactly what you're talking about. All you have to, you don't even have to press a button, you don't have to expend a resource to yeah. get through the axe and all these other projectiles. Oh, nice conversion off the Unless you just get up on the ledge and lean right into yeah. it, man, come on. Young, or, or Toon Link has the best uh, recovery for the links because of that drift. Like, and with the tether, he's able to get back a lot of the time. Absolutely. Oh my god, he's going for the big swing. I don't nice. even think that would have taken the stock. Um, but yeah, we'll see if Rick can get this conversion here. Obviously, a bomb fair will do it. Maybe yeah. not be at the ledge. I think those are the options that he should be going nice. for. Nice. Uh, I'm really liking these juggles with the bombs. Again, talking about yeah. translating things from Snake over to Toon Link. This character's got a Ooh. nice bomb. I like the down air into uh, attempted Holy Fire. That could have been a pretty good conversion. Yeah. Oh, oh yep, don't get scooped. Try the reverse up B, yeah, but uh, didn't land. I like the foresight, though. But can uh, Rick close out the stock before too much extra mm. credit is done? Emperor. Fair? Wow. Okay, he... Again, that's another snake player thing. He pulled the bomb after getting hit. Yeah. You can't do that as easily as, as Toon Link versus Snake. That ain't frame one. All right, well, nice conversion there. Uh -oh. Down 60%. Taunting on him, too. We having fun. Oh, we having a good time, man. There it is. This is going to be a little tough. Just get up from ledge. Be all right. There you go. Okay. Up tilt city wasn't quite here yet, but uh, I think Rick's just yeah he's trying to force his way oh, in this reversal backer, position. Oh, double maybe going for the upbeat. That could have been really dangerous yeah. for uh, Emperor there. Nice upbeat okay. out of hit stun though. Yes, that is really good uh, in this scenario. It's, you know he wants to convert off the bombs. You know he wants to convert off of the boomerang. So if you can find your way to get an upbeat in between that, see ya. Oh, caught him sleeping with the axe, and the guy's not gonna do it. The drift almost had it. Yeah. No, I saw you. That was dope. He did. Uh, I I want to see the Ice Water Rick Toon Link some more, man. Not right now. I want to see the snake. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, it, it looked all right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I think he's just having fun, but I mean, also trying something out. Yeah. And I think your, your point about the drift is the biggest thing. Yeah. If you know you can just weave your way in and out without having to use a resource, you're going to want to use that. It is getting a little hot in here, and uh, beer pong is also getting hot. I think we're actually starting that up right now. So, look, as y'all can see, this is a, a fun tournament, a fun event. So, All right, Snake is coming oh, yeah. back predictably. Rick, Rick doesn't yeah. want his tournament end to run to end right quick. Man said he wanted to see me, so he can't be throwing if he wants to see me right now. Yeah. Uh, you got to make your way through the bracket. It's your first time back like this. I know yeah. for Rick it's been a minute, so try to get as many sets as you can. And, you know, at the end of the day, it is a fun event. But, yo, let's – Keep doing your thing. Hey! I don't know what happened, but yay. We're getting hype here, man. So this is the thing. This is the thing, too. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Emperor actually second best character is Snake. Yes, yeah. So and so he knows what Rick's looking for with that. Yeah, he, he definitely knows some setups and, uh, and just some options to abuse. And I, right. Knowing how to abuse Snake is like half the battle because the character has a very unorthodox tool did set. Did he stick him? Yes, he did. But uh, nice. Emperor knowing to stay solid, stay in shield, it's going to be hard for the Snake to land it event, you know. If nice. you're patient about it, grabs a nade here, and this is a, see Emperor just has a lot of nade awareness. Like he's not going to be caught by anything too obvious most exactly. of the time. Exactly, and the timer I imagine is on point too. Here. And another oh, one that chop him up, ladder. get him a third time. Oh, you're gonna get hit by something. Down till okay covers. Oh, oh. What, what was that? It's just down. It, it was down here on the shield, and um, he just kind of crumpled. It's just kind of an it's awkward weird. punish, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. Emperor doing an excellent job. This, oh man, uh, he thought the percentage swapped. Oh, really? Pretty rare? Really? It's just a thing. Okay. No. Um, Can't say right. I've ever seen that. How does 
I love the recovery from Emperor there. That was Com impressive. I personally thought he was going to down air the Nikita, but he's still got bro, it. I mean, like damn, bro. Is Shutan out here? <laughs> Ooh, nice job rolling away yes. at the correct option. But man, sometimes um, Simon can avoid, or really, it's hard for him to get the kill. If he's not at the side, okay, that time at the ledge, though, I'm going to secure it. But uh, okay, it's nice job from Rick fighting back slightly. You can easily get this back. Yeah, man, the anti-Nikita play is just yeah. really impressive from Emperor, right? I, I don't think Rick can really use Nikita too much, even though you kind of want to. This is the right character to try to gimp with Nikita. I think at least Imperator, you know, he knows what to do against Nikita, so he's, he's sending it away. You just can't be obvious with it, I think. Right. Like, like you can get Nikita, but you can't just be... Okay, let's see how he angles it this time. Okay. No, just you know, yeah. forward air pass. Zoom to ledge. You just need one up tilt, one grab, forward tilt, take care of it. Okay, you know, Emperor shaking that off knows that he lived a pretty good amount. If he lives that long, oh, both two of these stocks, he's going to win this set, in my opinion. Yeah. Now it's 80% to zero, man. 91. He just has to chip away now. Don't do not do too much. Oh, You're adding 10% every little interaction. Every single projectile that he's getting hit by yeah. is another 10%. Rick has to hold on to this stock as long as he can. Maintain stage control, and once he gets that projectile opening, just take advantage of it. Like, exactly. Like there that. it is. Okay, down air, though. Very nice. Oh, he wow. covered the landing, but not in time. Maybe just a little late with it. Yeah. <gasps> Okay, I thought the holy Get fire. chopped. God, just catches neutral getup. There okay, it is. Nice job right under the axe. Like, <gasps> Do not. Almost had it. Oh! Oh, we are just... These guys are scrapping. Okay, Rick rolls, and he's still winning, holding on at 178. Oh, right. wish the grab. Can Rick take advantage here? Wish oh, the okay. up B, but he's going to just drift back to ledge. But Rick is applying so much pressure. Oh, my goodness. He wants to grab. He just, he just he just ran up and did it. He just did it, and he's. I think he's figuring out what Imperator wants to do, especially when getting back to ledge. And this is the Ooh, right time. Rolls again. Ah! That's the right time. Oh my! <laughs> and as Emperor comments on how bad his character is, the anti pop off. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah. But man, I mean, Rick has just climbed his way back into this game. Can he take this when, stock? About two oh eight. Why are you living? Snake is so damn heavy, man. That man ate his donuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Krispy Kreme. Oh, Krispy Kremes, motherfucker! Krispy Kremes. It be your own tools, man. The cipher extended. He broke through the cipher, and then he still got chopped by the axe. You're right. not gonna get saved today. Right, man. Maybe can hold. On. Okay, that holy fire from Ledge. Gonna Very nice. On the tech chase. Could have been a bit more, but still, Emperor doing a good job milking this lead. <sighs> Zooming F2. past that axe. Bro. Not a lot of initial knockback. Oh, he should be. Oh my God, has he wow. been Nikita once, man? Not like at all, man. He's been dodging every single one of them. Right here, you need one grab, bro. Okay. We're trying to stay patient. Nice, there it is. That's it, that's it. Yep, all right. All right, last stock game three. Who, Hit the 3%, not who's too bad. Who's the closer? Who's the closer? Ledge. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's oh use it against him. Nice. Something happened over there with Dragon. We'll ask him about that later. I oh, know. Uh, there's pop-offs everywhere in this venue, man. Okay. Listen, Remperator with the lead, but Rick has been climbing his way back almost every stock. The cross of, cross of the dash tag, not much you can do here. And it's just patient oh, play, holy man. Fire! Oh, there he it is. He wanted the sexy conversion, but he get the dash attack in a really good position here. How does Rick get off ledge? ledge? Oh, the that grenade was a nice little save. Rick is that. terrified right now. He knows that one Epsilon at the ledge will do it. One Axe might do it. Yeah, just stay away from that stuff, man. Yeah. Very nice. Yes! Very nice. Grabs the grenade to avoid that, and with the sliding forward tilt, whips him out of here. Imperator, good job, man. And losers staying alive. Yeah. Rick, amazing showing, though. It's nice to see him back, and that, that snake is crispy as always. Look at this, man. Chug for the dub. That's what you like to see. Bro. Ghost of Bob chasing this man down, man. <laughs> the, the Ghost, ghost of, of Bob. Bob. The ghost of Bob's terrorizing this man, bro. We love to see it. All right, man, I'm going to see what the hell is going on over there. Be right back, man. Yeah. So, Imperator moves on. Rick is out of here. It's a good showing. Uh, so, now we're going to keep on moving. Let's take a look at this right now. Everybody's having a great time. This is dope.
uh, Mustang went to go see what's going on, and it turns out that he is back on the camera. It's either the camera or the mic, and it's his turn to be back behind the camera. Mustang, Bobbles, these guys are more than commentators. They're getting deep in this bracket, and I believe this is winner's finals with the man, Bobbles, and Mustang. C-Rod wants to hop on the mic. I think he's just here to have a good time, man. He's got the beer in hand. They don't see us. That's the best part about being a commentator at this event. There's no camera pointed towards me yet. All you hear is my voice. You didn't even know who I am. Testing, Unless testing, you know. one, two. C-Rod on the mic. Let's go. Uh, so we got Bobbles. Bobbles Mustang. opting for the Wii Fit trainer? Wii Fit. Oh. All right. Let's see what you got, Bobbles. Camp this man out. I don't want to see this Ganondorf anymore. Force him to the Palu. He's getting kind of nasty. Oh. Opting for the... Nice. Trying to go for some projectiles. Keep Ganon out. And uh, I think Mustang's just going to look for that one opportunity to oh. go in and take it all the way to the I bank. I said he was Mustang. nasty. Come man. on, man. Get him get him off of this Wii Fit. Like, I know Bobbles might have it, but... Go your main. Yeah. You ain't Waddy. <laughs> Waddy Wii Fit. Oh, oh nice. But uh, going to make it back. The hula hoop is a good as recovery. Yeah. Oh, the little sock. Just yeah. The little tap mm -hmm. on the soccer ball. I like that. I've never seen that. I can't believe that worked, but hey, safe forward air on shield into up smash. We got those. That up smash is so good. Yeah. Oh, I, bro, the down tilt crouching underneath the sun salutation. What do you know about it? This is an incredible lead for Mustang, and I, I honestly cannot believe he's doing this well as Ganon against Wii Fit Trainer, but at the same time, we don't know at least. Oh, oh the footstool. Thing. I don't know how good this Bobble's Wii Fit is. Right now, it's not looking too hot. <laughs> It may be good, but the, the I know the Mustang nice. Ganon is nice. So Oh, yeah. It's, it's something to fear for sure. All right. Finally kill, get it so done. 140, though. You get touched, and you're gone, man. <laughs> and there it is. And speak of the devil, the commentator's yeah. curse right there. That ain't a curse. That was a blessing. Sparta that man out of here. Mustang with the hot lead, bro. Full stock. And you can let Wii Fit play their game. You're Ganon. You can just stay away. Hold shield. Press oh, on mask, whenever you feel like it. He masked out of that berry. Nice. Ooh, parry, nice parry. Uh, Bobble's yet to take percent. If he can... Uh, oh, all right. oh, imagine, uh, the, imagine he wants a little revenge spike. Yeah. That'd I think he nice. might look for it. But uh, it's kind of the positioning oh, of no. Mustang on recovery is not allowing him to... He just want to stay on stage. Yeah. Don't want to get up lead reversaled. Oh, that back air. Send him. I'm surprised he didn't go for that up beat right there. Going for that down air right there. Yeah. Fall of down air. <laughs> I swear, we fits moves just make me laugh. They're they're so goofy. Yeah, and I did like triple down touch. They're just doing flips on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost as acrobatic as Ganon. Ooh, all right, he's 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 point oh, oh point no. eight from sixty nine. All right, never mind. Let's see, now does we fit? Does Bobbles win these? I think he's got it in him. Hey, he got the right character to do it, man. Off. Especially against Ganon, just throw your projectiles, throw your little balls at him, bro. Ooh, he go for the ledge trap. Oh, you're gone. Oh, oh. <gasps> he missed the down air. That was it right there, but Bobble's still making good work out of this. He's coming back, man. Ooh, the, the, the berry? He's got the mash. He's got the mash oh. and the wizard's kick. He no. not only got out of the berry, but he reversed it on top of him, kicked him straight into what the ground, that? popped up through the air. Mustang taking game one, bro. Convincing fashion, even though Bobble's was making his little comeback right towards the end there. Bro, bro. he had him buried. I was like, what's he going to do? I was like, I don't know if he could kill him there, but like, he just popped out, bounced him off the ground like a basketball. Popped out and 
kick the door down. Off the top. I love when, when you hit them with down airs and they bounce and die off the top. It's the best. I know. It's, it's so goofy, and these characters are pretty goofy in and of themselves. So you how strong that move is. So does Bobo stay the refit? Yeah, oh, he does. Dude. He, he, he thinks he can make it happen. Hey, that was a little comeback. He, what I, he did yeah. on that last start. You know what? I believe him now. I think he can make it happen. He was starting to wake up a little bit with the character. Let's, let's see if he can take a game. Onto Northern Cave. Let's see, let's see how Mustang does with all these balls this game. Yeah, and uh, this was Bobble's counter pick, so that platform's going to help him out getting up from ledge immensely. Yeah, He's just going to stay where he wants to stay. We fit, we fit likes to just like camp off stage, just throw shit. Yes, we call that planking. This <laughs> motherfucker. I hate this character. <laughs> I hate this character, bro. Yeah, yeah. DDD, DDD just be like inhaling the soccer balls and the and the charge shots. But uh, Mustang does a good job of forcing his way in. I mean, this is an abysmal oh, scenario okay. for this character, but That's Mustang makes it happen. Thing. Let's oh, go okay, with the up B. Yeah. Captain Falcon trick. Yeah, man. You can do it against that up B. If you get him far out enough, yeah, no, it's free. That was checkmate. So, yeah, another comfortable lead for Mustang. Let's see if he can hold it on. But he doesn't even want to, like, hold on to this lead and just sit back. He does oh. Ganon things he and presses tech, forward. And he goes for the inside tech read. Nice. All right. We got uh, Smoto over here. See if he'll give me some tequila. Oh, we take that one. Nice. Oh, that was oh, dirty, you, though. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Baron to fair. What the fuck? Yeah. You know he's... Oh, oh he did that right, to him. All that's, right. Hey, that's what Drago did to me earlier. <laughs> That shit uh, catches you off guard because he just grabs you and you just slip and slide like right off the edge like oh butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, especially in that matchup, you love to see the other character abusing the ledge against that character like yeah, that. Yeah, because definitely they use Wii Fit's moves against them. Wow. So so that choke going all the way down. Mustang taking the quick 2-0 with the Ganon. So what bracket was that? Intermediate? Or uh, final no, bracket? that was winner's finals of the main bracket. That was winner final? Yeah. Damn, Bobbles made it. Yeah, and oddly enough, when we fit in winner's final, I know they're I know, that fun, was like caught me off guard, but hey, that was a uh, Would was you a believe nice me if I told you there was a Ganondorf in grand finals? I don't think a so. Ganondorf we fit finals. Nobody would have thought of that. You could Insanity. Now, granted, Mustang has literally been going Palu this entire bracket, so. And he just whipped out the Ganon? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, that's his. I know. He's, he's, he, previous I like main, he decided to upgrade to the top tier, but he still knows a thing or two with the Ganondorf and abusing I feel like he that said matchup. He, he feels like his Ganon is still, like, better. I would imagine. He's just got more time in it. Like, Palu probably just has better matchups, so he can just, For like, sure. get away with not being as good, but, like, his Ganon is just nice. Puts in work, man. Clean. And Very clean. A quick 2 0 on a Wii Fit trainer. Uh, the way I like to say it. his his Ganon is efficient. Like he doesn't waste Absolutely, yeah. His moves with Ganon. Yeah, no doubt. I think Mustang has a really good balance of looking for those heavy reads but also knowing when to not overextend. Yep. And he's got those hard punishes. That that man, that back air stage spike in tech read into it bear was that was so beautiful nice. man that's and how you know he's got experience because Ganon be out there on the ledge and doing that kind of stuff with the, with the tech checks and all that shit and to have the balls to do that against a wii fit trainer it, it takes a lot it takes a lot to understand your advantage state right there you're go when you go down off the stage and try to bounce a wii fit trainer off the ledge As you are Ganon. in such a bad position <laughs> yeah. there are so many ways i could count it on both hands at how you could be put into a disadvantaged state from that position and just die Mustang took full advantage of that, and that was probably the most beautiful kill that we had throughout that whole set, aside from that. That or that Barry, that Barry match out oh, yeah. down beat yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Mustang really had some highlights in that one. I'll, I hope he catches these VODs and put it in a nice little compilation. Is, this, it, is this for third place? Uh, this right here is Losers Finals. Oh, okay. For third place, we got Dragon yeah, and Bobbles. Bobbles staying on. Uh... I don't know what we're going to see here, man. Honestly, Drago has the Ganondorf, too. Bro, <laughs> yeah. Are we really going to see double I, Ganondorf and a Wii Fit Trainer in these top three, bro? I don't want this. No way. No one wants this. I don't care if you're having fun. Play some hype characters. Disconnect your pro controllers. Every time. Who is it? Mustang? It's got to be Mustang. Does Mustang even play with a pro controller? I don't think I so. I don't know. Where'd he go? He's probably going to the bar. Well, whatever. That's all. Okay. All right. oh, oh, okay. What the? Yes. Okay, that just 
was the biggest 180. The esteemed Banjo from Drago. I, I honestly love this character for him. I think he does a really good job with Banjo. And, you I know, have, he's not I've super late. one time. <laughs> and uh, Bob was opting for his heavy, going with the cat this time. Ooh, yeah, so that happened to me versus Drago. He wonder winged the wrong way off stage, and I hit him with a fair as DD, and I almost killed him at like 0%. Oh, no. <laughs> but... Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Oh my god, he's already had 0 to 89. Bobble's kind of going ham. Oh, with the you just. Oh, holy shit. Bro. All right. You just muscled through that. Oh! Very <laughs> nice. So I could not tell you that that would be able to happen, but Bobble's was able to muscle through not only the grenade, he said, but the invincible Wonder Wing. Oh my god. He said no more. He you said can just, no more Wii Fit. Just grab Wonder Wing. You can just grab Wonder Wing. We're at 169. We're living. All right. Oh, that, Interesting that recovery, a, but a, Drago makes it happen. That was a ballsy man. drag down air, but it worked. Yeah. Oh, parry the nade. Oh yeah. There we go. There's Nair. a lot that gets you out of there, there, and the the nair on the ledge is gonna take care of it. Oh, down throw. Oh, come down on. Throw into lariat. Imagine. You don't do down throw lariat. <laughs> Unless the, you do that. We're, we're getting custom. Let's go. Oh. Nice little ledge trap there. Got the down oh. throw two frame, and he made him. Miss input. <laughs> Drago, Downer. look, I was saying that you were really good with this character. I was saying that I was excited to see this character by you. You got to wake up, son. This is Loser's Finals. Oh, imagine Barry Nair into something. You got a bear and a bird. You're going against a cat. I think you win this matchup. Yeah. Damn, he just he did the double. That was like me when I first started playing Smash. You just ne They never expect two in a row. Exactly. Abuse that invincibility, and if he's not going to go for the grab on it, just do it. It might even work even better at higher levels because they're like, they'll never, they'll never do it. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to hold forward smash for 10 seconds. <laughs> sometimes you just like, sometimes you're just stuck there. You're like, yep, I was charging it. Just full commit. Just like, come punish me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. The invincibility. Back throw. Back get him out of here. See if he can get this little ledge. And uh, look, Bobbles is sitting at a clean 20% on this second stock in Drago. Ooh, He's going to have to make something happen. The nade into Nair was a little nice, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't all true. He's got an early up B to get out of his advantage there, but he's still nice. stuck. Oh, Wonder Wing oh. called him out. That's the last one, though. He doesn't have any more Wonder Wings, but, you know, worth it. You yeah, even up the stock. That was a snipe right there. That was a deep one. Okay. Sans, Wonder Wing, Banjo. Last stock. Can we make this happen? Ooh. That jump's too small. You can get up there with the up air. Okay, nice. Ooh, the drag down. There you go. Good punish. Drago making a little bit of a comeback. Let's trap. There it is. Get him off. You got a gimp. Oh, misses the dash Whiffing grab. The grab. Okay. The, oh, grenade to grenade. He goes grenade, grenade. Oh, no. Whiff the grab again. Oh, you're, that, you're gone, oh, buddy. He's off the top. Okay. If Drago would have made it happen without the Wonder Wing, that full stock comeback... I would have taken away everything I was saying before about the banjo. I know he had a hey, couple I mean, flubs, but he did he did down air SD. Right. So So that was pretty close. Taking into consideration that he wouldn't have SD'd, I think Drago would have had a good shot with that one. I hope he sticks with the banjo. You wanna see it. I think he can do it. Uh if Bobble sticks with the big cat too, you can uh, you can make it happen with this duo. Ain't no duck hunt duo though. No. Uh, infinitely better, cooler <laughs> duo. <laughs> we're sticking with the big cat. Drago thinking but we're not going the big the cat color. It's a shame. It's truly a shame. Mustang coming to get some of the info. He's ready, yeah. He's trying to get that those and scrolls. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your top three right here. Look at them. Beautifully laid out right now. Look at those handsome devils right there. Yeah. Bobble's feeling it. Where did he go? Did he go banjo again? Oh, we're going inkling. Oh, we're going inkling. All right. I All guess right. Drago's not playing around, but uh, I can't tell you the last time I saw his inkling. I don't think I ever seen it in my life. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Oh, nice. he's, all, he's all squirted up. He, he's getting that extra damage. Oh, no. I don't know if you guys heard that over the mic, but, yes, we are streaming the beer pong tournament after this bracket is done. So stick around for that. I know we're in Losers Finals, but uh, there's going to be some more exciting content afterwards. Winner gets $50. 50 you, More money than what you get for winning the Smash <laughs> Bracket. What the hell is this? Because Beer Pong is the real deal. 
I guess so. Going for the, opting for the upward angle on that side B to get him in the air, but now he's the one getting juggled. So, in, in this situation with Drago on the Inkling, you would expect this to be nice and free. You got a better character. Haha, -ha, we can do it. But uh, I think Bobbles is really feeling himself, man. Bobbles and Cinnaroar is looking clean. It's looking nice. And I don't think even a previously considered top tier can uh, take care of this. I think a lot of people slipped on Incineroar, but like Incineroar be getting a lot of results, I feel like. There's like a lot of like decent no Incineroars. Like Sky, Sky J, J putting them on the map. But uh, let's see if Bobbles got but that other than same that, you sort got, like, of. You know, just like smaller ones in the regional, they're too worried, like Thorn and shit. Yeah, so no doubt. He's definitely got stuff. I don't think he's as bad as people initially thought when he came out. Right. He's got he's got the the moves. He's just a little bit slow. Yeah, and it, it certainly takes a lot more of the uh, the ballsy play to make this character happen. You got to just hold your ground a lot and know what the the options are and the habits are for the opponent. But he's fully covered in paint right yeah, now. Yeah, come on. He's, you're a, you're he's a blue. blue. Cat, he, <laughs> Good lord. I've never seen that much paint. Wow, he, yeah, he's actually he fully covered. A completely different a skin for the character. <laughs> they just released DLC skins, and it's a nice teal blue for Incineroar. Yeah, I like that skin. I want to go. Blue. Oh, oh he come on, little, man. He hit him with the K rule. Uh, yeah, that. That, that is a K rule player mentality right there. Bobbles, you saw it earlier. Like it's walking. no different on the cat versus the croc. You can do the down smash Here we go, down to call out square. shit like that. Nice little 40% lead. See how long you can live here. I don't want to do no commentator curses. Okay. Yeah, wait for it. Oh, my God. All right. We just got the cheesiness right now. He even had the forward smash waiting for him and still got hit by the up B. Not even the, the, uh, counter. It gets grabbed, but the Booyah won't even take it there. 150 max rage. There We're it is. Still living, but this is gonna be uh, you're gone, buddy. No, he's dead. Yeah. Um, Almost saved him with that bomb. Oh, Loki. Yeah, I, thought he, uh, I think he didn't have a jump there, so he had to... Right away. So not only can Drago make this happen, but he should make this happen because otherwise he is out of the tournament. And you're playing Inkling against Incineroar, goddammit. Do it. Do the thing. Like maybe do you think he went Inkling like because like you think maybe like the little dash dance, you know how they go in the Oh! Oh Alright, alright, we're back, we're back. <laughs> you know how they go in the ground, like they swim in the right. you think maybe like if they're swimming like the side B of Incineroar will miss? That is a very good point, and I think that's super likely. I, I'm like, not sure I was if like, he's been able to. There must be a reason why he picked Inkling. Like, maybe it's yeah. like a secret little counter pick. Oh, you know, it's like just a good ass character like too. Boo! Yeah, 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 it's fast. No, yeah, boo! Ain't no boo, y'all though. All this right. Might be on the ledge though. Come can, on. Oh, All right. Really up to ledge. Get out of here! Punish oh, that down smash. Out. There it is. What happened? All right, we got the fair trade. It's up one one now. Drago making it happen with the Inkling. It was still a little scary. You're going up against an Incineroar. It's always going to be scary, but. Yep, that was the tense. squid kid makes it happen. You, I wonder, did he did he do the mash out punish on purpose? Do you think he let him mash out? Cause like he could have just thrown him, but like he could have and should have just thrown him. But uh, it worked out right there. Yeah, He's got yeah. that fair on the mash out. Tense situation, but uh, man, these pro controllers are some menaces, dude. Look, say this as a PSA. If you use a pro controller, you have an obligation to pay attention to that bum-ass controller. <laughs> Be a real man and use GameCube. Ooh, we got the K-Roll. All right. Wing. There you go. So a different roll. animal, same style. We got the big croc instead of the big cat. We got a little more projectiles to work with now, so I think he can keep Drago away or at least fight this sort of full-stage, half-stage fight. But uh, you're Ooh. dealing with a lot more combo ability Okay. As Inkling, I think. I think you're going to get pieced up a little bit more. Oh! oh. Ah, yeah, yeah, He's living. You're good, you're good. Come on. All right, we're swinging, though. I My need to, God. I need, to, I, need to, I need to download this, some K rule scrolls real quick. Oh, yeah. Get the little download. Man, earlier, those Who? were some nice strings. From yeah. Oh, I don't know if he was dead, but it didn't look like he died at all. It looked like he went straight up. Yeah, he went straight up. Uh, like, well. Think, man, I don't know. I. I I thought Northern Cave had big blast sounds, but apparently it doesn't, so I don't know. Yeah, Ooh, I, I think it's just right place, right time for that uh, up throw up air, but um, I, I oh, think Drago just... holds on to this, man. He oh, could do it. Oh, no, no, no. That's You're out kill. of here. Oh, oh, the sour. The sour. You hate to see it. I don't think I've ever gotten the sour hit on that. Ever in my life. It's a, uh, I think it's, it's a no mash sort of situation. He was like right on the inside of him. Yeah. Like, 
he not only oh, didn't get the nice. fist, but there we go. Sliding forward to that Super was clean. definitely the sweet spot on the end of those claws oh, yeah. right there. Clap that squid all the way to the blast zone. Nice oh, snare, snare down, down tilt. tilt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. That was that was Very nice. I I never done the nair down tilt. I yeah. need to try that. That's some that's some D Ooh, there there a little crown yeah. for some extra damage. You said get some. At this point Bubbles is just punishing these forced approaches by Drago. <sighs> As K roll, you get a lot to is punish. Is this best of five? Uh, no, this is be everything is best of three. So, so this is do or die for both of them. This is where the real men compete. You don't get time to adapt. It's who's best. Real players. At the beginning. Not you know, even though we have a top three of men, it's no, no uh, all inclusive. Anyone could have been here, but it's just oh, so yeah. happens to be men. So it's the top men. Women can be manly men as well. I don't know what that is. Soaking meant. crocodiles, and let's see if Bobbles can be manly with this croc and come back to a nice little uh, one stock scenario. Oh my god, he jumped into the cannonball. Oh man. Crown, get him at disadvantage, but he's all painted up. And a little misspaces the so get up attack. Cannonball just gonna miss. Nice. Oh, but he's gonna there catch the jump. There we go. Patented K roll, ledge dropping right there. And 50% is not too bad for Bobbles right now. You're basically even when you think about it. And uh, it doesn't take much for this croc to blow up this squid. Oh my god, the double wow. clink. Gotta watch out for that armor though. You're using Nair a lot. That was a nice Kay. spacing Ooh. on the get up attack, a little dash away. Very nice. Oh, oh you okay. I was, uh, I was literally about on. to say, I was waiting for the, the, the blunderbuss to yeah. drop through. Oh, my oh, God. Uh, you oh. do not. He's a little bit too high for the up smash. He could have maybe done, like, the, the F smash uh, mix-up. Oh, here we go. Oh, he All right, you're in a bad spot, Bobbles. Oh, waiting it out. Oh, wow. I, I was going to say, if, you could, if you could shoot the bomb with your paint gun and move it, that'd be sick. That would be sick. Down throw is it? Oh, he did oh, not he go for the down throw. He opted for the forward, forward throw. throw. Oh, my God. Uh, Drago is almost out of ink here. This is going to be pretty crucial. And you're so high. He went for the Nair. He went for it all. All right. Fill it up a little bit of that ink. Oh, man. Just push through it. Bobbles pushes through. Are you kidding me? With the dash attack through the neutral B. I didn't even think that was a thing. But it makes sense. He's got armor on the belly. Bobbles dash attacking his way into grand finals. Let's go K rule, baby. Uh, so K rule is clean. Now you've got Mustang and Bobbles. Grand Finals. We're going ape. You didn't see a single ape there in the in that matchup, but you got a slew of animals here. Let's see if Mustang's gonna keep it up with his Ganon or maybe I mean, switch to the I mean, he is Alpha Pi Omega Beta Sigma. Chad, see that shirt? Oh. So he he he's a Sigma male. Uh huh. So he's one of those. There's a lot of a lot of archetypes on that if you shirt. Play, if you play a bottom tier character. You're definitely a Sigma Chad, like myself. Mm, mm -hmm. DDD, Ganon, K. Rool. K. Rool's not bottom five. He's still a Chad, though. You play. You I play think the you're monkey, sacrificing right? something for another thing, and in this case, you're sacrificing. You're the sacrificing wins for like, for coolness. Yeah, right. Depends on the character that you're playing. But if you're playing a bad character, and you use that bad character as and an win. excuse. Ah, oh, you're saying I'm using that as an excuse. Don't do it. Play a top tier. No, it's. I mean, well, I mean, Look, I mean remember what happened at Rick's house. There is not a single top tier here right now. Uh, oh my God, we're getting it. It's, yes, it's this Ganon I'm saying. This and is the cat. This is a battle of the the Sigma Chads right, right and here. Yeah, it's literally. Oh, oh man. Ganon, I love to see it for sure. So they're gonna this be scrapping. Near and dear this. to my heart. Bubbles has to win two sets to take it over Mustang. Oh, we doing a reset? He could. Uh, but this is a fun grand finals, man. I mean, come on. These guys are just going to be swinging. I hope to see some swinging. Ooh, nice. Space in that side yeah. Toss him off, bro. Okay, down throw. Oh, you know what he wanted. He probably That probably would have worked out if he got in that reverse back air right there. A little bit of a bait. Oh, that hilarious. Very nice. Man, these wow. uh, Mustang, these like little bit of sharking moves at the edge, the ledge. You never really expect that with Ganon. 
See, like he's hitting him right through the stage. He's getting a little bit too. Bobble's getting a little too close to the edge every oh, he's time. Gone. He's dead for sure. Yeah, fifty percent. Bobble's maybe feeling hot from the last set. He's calling out the jumps here too, and I know Ganon's got a nice big frame, but I'm thinking like maybe why didn't he go and send? Why did he go there it is. Fit, You know, why did he go we fit the first game, first set? Yeah, is this Incineroar was looking this nice? I know, right? I hope to see more of this cat, man. This is nice. Oh, oh don't let it got be the you, man. F smash read on the black. Mm hmm. Oh, very nice. Down air to up air. Not going to take the classic. it, though. Oh. Cover the landing with the up smash. Let's hey, go, Bobbles. Got a big lead only at 21% right now. Okay. Uh, now I feel like Mustang is just trying to force something to happen. He's just swinging his way in. And Ooh. when you swing and you have revenge, you're going to look like a scary cat. He's powered up right now. Oh, he was just... Oh, my God. Ooh. Don't hold in on that. Cheeky, cheeky little sneaky little plays right yeah. there. Uh, that was incredible by Mustang to have that on command and spin like a dime with that. And so now he's in a good position to make a little comeback. I'm saying. He, I, I Close this out quick, man. This Ganon. Dash tag. He knows, he, knows, he knows where his strong suits are. Ooh, he's going to make it back. All right. Don't What's get Ty Beat. Oh. He reads the out roll. roll. Toward the no. Oh, my God. That would have been so dirty. Oh, oh, you try oh, for it. Oh, he's got the it. tech, though. He he's it. They are. I don't know if we're living this, though. Yeah, yeah. you're gone. Uh, uh, wow. What, what a scramble what, off the stage for these two crazy characters. What a nasty tech, but still. Yeah, eventually, it doesn't matter if you tech those. You get sent to a certain part of the blast zone, especially as Incineroar, where you're not going to make that bad. Man, those, those moves that just send you, like, horizontally oh out, God, like, dude. a little horizontal and down, those are just, like, yeah. they can just catch you off guard. Especially if you don't have a good recovery, you're just dead. Yeah, and Incineroar's not coming back from that type of stuff. So, Bobble's recognizing that. He's not playing around anymore. It's time for the Koopa. Oh, shit. The King Koopa versus the King of Darkness, king dog. Of, I don't know what yeah. he's the king of. He's the king of evil. He's a bad guy. It is what it is, bro. It's Ganon. Oh. Uh, You're not going to leave to nothing. So this is Bobble's I th his main for sure. True main. Okay. True main. Let's see if uh, Man, I, I think he's going to have it. Incineroar was looking that nice. Yeah, I mean, Bowser must be better, but I nah. did. I have heard from Mustang. He does think this is a winning matchup for Ganon. Really? Yeah. He uh, he would usually counterpick against Snore with Mustang. Oh, my God. Uh, with a... Uh, Again, and then he was winning, but Bobble's, so, Bobble's it, switching up the narrative. Yeah, and uh, you don't see Nair up air work on too many characters, but you'll always see the ledge trump back air work on every character because ganon has got it like those that. Are, those are nice. He's got the one back air that can like, or one of the few back airs that can be like good punish off True, that. yeah, truly. It's really good. So Up bees though. Out of shield. Oh, he's going to read the... Uh, oh, my God. He's just calling him out now. He's calling him out. You can't do anything there. Mustang trying to clean this up real quick. He said, I'm done playing. He I want to go to beer pong. Beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> but All right, let's see if he can make Bowser, it happen. Bowser, you know, anything can happen with this matchup. Absolutely. Especially King Koopa. Oh, my God. Keeping him on the ledge. Crap. That was a nice, uh, nice nair there. Oh god, I don't think he. he okay, he does have a jump. Bobbles wanted to go off. Oh, yep, he wanted to. All right, he wanted the souse. Bobbles. But you know, sometimes you get lost in the souse. Yeah. You can't have too much souse. No. Oh, he he read the he he's he's getting these uh reads on these side bees, but off stage now. Oh, goes to the down B spike. Oh, oh, he's oh okay. It takes one Fire? edge guard. Oh no, he wants that. He wants that. It he takes one scenario. He don't want nice. damage. Oh my God, Bobbles not even opting for up throws, which is kind of weird. But oh, he's got it like that. Are you kidding me? Nice, nice little mix up. Sit on him. And Bobbles making it competitive again. I like to see it. You'd you like to see, to see it? it? Yeah. I love to see that air ball from Smoto over there. Not even hitting the rim. <laughs> even of the caught cup. on camera. This is the worst <laughs> part about beer pong is this shit's gonna be caught on camera. It's if you are playing yeah. like ass, we will have recorded footage of you playing like ass. 
But these guys are both hoping that they don't play like ass because this is this is for real time. You don't see heavies, super heavies on FD in Grand Finals often, so you want to take that crown if you can. Two kings. We, we here. should do a we should do a, a tournament heavies only. We should not. <laughs> that sounds whack as hell. But what? these guys somehow made their way here How? by not doing only heavy tournament. So How that's more commendable. <laughs> Come on, man. How is this any Get out oh, of here. He just gets the zero to death. Get out of here. How is, how is this cool? But if we had if we had all heavies, it'd be a guaranteed heavy no, final. No, because you're expecting heavies. You're not expecting heavies here. This is sick. Let's go, Mustang. Making quick work. Down there. Oh, oh, my God. God. He switched it up. Oh, he went for the low. Up oh, B right there. Stage what do you got, fighting. Bobbles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only so many times you can sit on a man, man and get away with it. He was already at 100. What? When? When? When did that happen? We're going to need a miracle. Yeah, Bobble is going to have to pull something out because this is this is looking super duper rough. That horizontal angle, exactly what you're talking about. Death. Yeah. I think you're gone off this. Oh. All right. Oh, All right. <laughs> that didn't, that if that lie. was it, it would have been full goofy movie here, but we're not. I love the sound effect. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, the, oh. it's, it's, so, it's so disrespectful. If you, if you hit him with the, the, the footstool with nothing else, you just kill him with that. Yeah, especially Bowser's animation of falling where he's just like twirling <laughs> helplessly. It's hilarious, but uh, we didn't get oh, to see it, unfortunately. We're not going to kill him. Let's see if we get this reverse three stock going on. Man, we got some crazy stuff going on in Beer Pong. I'm excited. I better win this whole thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Bobbles. Uh, bobbles with the forward uh, forward tilt or down tilt, I, I didn't see. That was a down smash, my man. Oh, it was a he, down smash. Yeah, he got that heavy punish. It was nice. Uh, but again, you get caught out one time by Mustang, and you are just in a bad spot, especially as Bowser. He hits you with two moves. That's oh, like 30-something 30, 30 percent. Yeah. And uh, Mustang just needs one more good interaction, good advantage state to make this happen. Bro. I, I, oh, I call him out the bobbles jump again. Get away from center stage. This is mine. Needed that forward to catch him on the jump to what? get that gimp to get to last stock, but looking rough. Uh, if there's any character, Bowser's the one they can live through this, but but not versus Ganon. Not that way. <laughs> Mustang. Mustang winning it all. Take an ape with Ganon. Who Amazing. is this guy? Palu throughout the whole bracket, and then in the top two finals games, in winners finals and grand finals, pulls out the Ganon, the old main. The true main, the one that we know he really plays all the time. Look at him taking it in. The biggest tournament win of his entire life. Yeah. Ape, number one, baby. Ape number one goes to Mustang, baby. <laughs> if you're going like to win the that. ape, you better win the first one. Yeah. Unfortunately, he did not do it with an ape. ape. Uh, Ganon is close. Man, the only true ape is DK. She, uh, Diddy Kong's a monkey. He is a monkey. Hey, humans are apes. Facts. I don't know if uh, a Gerudo human counts as an ape, but he's pretty freaking close. Hey, but speaking of apes, you know what's a good game? Ape Escape. Try it out. Oh, Sea Rod. Bringing it back. Dropping the bombs. And, uh, yo, that concludes Smash. We're if you guys are here for Smash, uh, that Imagine Mustang that. gets the double back to back wins Beer Pong and Smash. Mustang may be nice on the sticks, but, but is he nice on the cups? I don't think he's nice on the cups. I don't think he's got it like that. But find out now if you guys are interested in watching some exciting, riveting Be -be. beer pong gameplay. Oh stick my around. god! Oh, here we go. Go grab a drink. This it's is, Saturday. This is gonna be nice right here. All right. Uh, this All is right, C Rod and Danza. LB C Rod, lit boys. <laughs> See y'all later. Stay tuned. Support the Austin Smash scene. Support all your local scenes. We get to do fun shit like this because people support. Look at all these people sitting here. They paid money to be here, and they don't even get a good payout. It's not about the payout. It's about having fun, and this is a fun-ass event. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, stream was dope. Tournament was dope. And, uh, yeah, signing off. Good night. <laughs>